How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here and today I'm bringing you guys an updated tutorial on how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. So to begin, if you don't have VirtualBox downloaded and installed already, I'll leave a link to get it in the description below. Once you're on this page, just come down here to where it says VirtualBox 7.0.6 Platform Packages or this might be a newer version if you're watching this video in the future. Just make sure that you are downloading VirtualBox 7 and above as VirtualBox 7 is the first version of VirtualBox that officially supports uh, installing Windows 11 as VirtualBox 7 allows you to emulate Secure Boot and TPM, which is a requirement to install Windows 11. So just download VirtualBox for the operating system you're running. So if you're on Windows, download the Windows hosts. If you're on an Intel Mac, download the macOS Intel hosts. However, if you do have a newer Mac with an M1 or M2 chip, VirtualBox isn't officially supported on those machines, but there is a developer preview available. So you can try downloading the developer preview here and see if you're able to install Windows 11, but your mileage may vary. It might not be super stable. You might not even be able to install Windows 11 at all, but you really don't have much to lose. So if you're on an M1 or M2 Mac, feel free to try out the developer preview. And finally, if you're on Linux, you can download VirtualBox for different Linux distributions here. I already have VirtualBox installed on my computer, so I'm not going to go into how to install it in this video. It's very straightforward. It pretty much just installs like any other program. So the next thing we need to make sure of is that we have virtualization enabled in our computer's BIOS. To check if we have virtualization enabled within Windows, open up the task manager. If you're on Windows 10, your task manager might look a little bit different, but just go over to the performance tab and click on CPU. And at the bottom here, it's going to say virtualization. And if it says virtualization enabled, you have virtualization enabled in your computer's BIOS, which will allow you to run virtual machines on your computer. However, if this says disabled, you'll need to restart your computer, go into the BIOS and look for the virtualization setting and enable it. I do have a tutorial on how to do this, so I'll link that in the description below. Just go check out that video and come back once you have enabled virtualization. So we can now close out of Task Manager. And the final thing we need to do before creating our virtual machine is just download Windows 11. So I'll also leave a link to the download for Windows 11 in the description below. The download is on Microsoft's official website. So you just need to scroll down here and look for download Windows 11 disk image ISO. And click on the drop down here and select Windows 11. Then download. And now it's going to ask you to select a language that you want Windows in. So I'll just come down here and choose English. And then click on confirm. And then it's going to bring up a download button here. Just click on 64 bit download. And now your internet browser is just going to ask you where you want to save the ISO file on your computer. I've already went ahead and downloaded the Windows 11 ISO to my desktop. It's quite a big file. It's over five gigabytes. So it might take some time to download. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so I'm just going to click cancel here. And now we can finally go ahead and open up VirtualBox. Now in VirtualBox to create a new virtual machine, just click on the new button at the top here. This window is going to come up and this is where we're going to create our new virtual machine. VirtualBox gives us two different modes when creating a virtual machine, guided mode and expert mode. I'm going to be doing this tutorial in expert mode. So I recommend setting your VirtualBox to expert mode as well, just so you can follow along a little bit easier. Under name, this is going to be the name for our virtual machine. You can really call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine Windows 11 just to keep things simple. Under folder, this is where our virtual machine files are going to be saved. You can leave this default if you would like, but I keep all my virtual machines on an extra two terabyte SSD. I recommend keeping your VM files somewhere on your computer that has a lot of space as virtual machines can be quite large in size, especially a Windows 11 VM. But like I said, you can leave this at the default location if you would like. Anyways, for ISO image, click on the drop down here and then click on other. And Explorer window is going to come up and just choose the Windows 11 ISO we downloaded earlier. VirtualBox should automatically recognize that we're installing Windows 11, but under type, just make sure that this is set to Microsoft Windows and version is set to Windows 11 64 bit. Now click skip unattended installation and drop down the hardware tab. Under base memory, this is the amount of RAM we're going to be allocating to our VM. Windows 11 requires a minimum of four gigabytes and you can really increase the RAM to as much as you want up to half of the amount of RAM you have on your computer. So for example, if I open up the Windows settings and then go to system and about, 
As you can see under installed RAM, my computer has 32 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm not going to want to allocate more than 16 gigabytes of RAM to my VM. But 16 gigabytes is quite overkill for a Windows 11 VM. So I'm just going to probably set this to about 8 or 8192 megabytes. Now under processors, this is the amount of cores we're going to be allocating to our VM. At minimum, you should allocate two cores to your VM. And just like RAM, you shouldn't allocate more than half the amount of cores you have on your CPU. So for example, if we go back to the Windows settings, under processor, you can see I have an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 8-core processor. So I'm not going to want to allocate more than 4 cores to my VM. Next, under hard disk, this is where we're going to create our virtual hard disk. So make sure create a virtual hard disk now is selected. And this slider here is where we're going to set the size for our virtual hard disk. So at minimum, Windows 11 requires 64 gigabytes of disk space. 20 gigabytes of that disk space is going to be just for the OS, and the rest is going to be for your programs and files. I'm going to bump this up to about maybe 80 gigabytes, a little bit more, just so we have some more space for our files and programs. But as I mentioned before, your virtual hard disk can have a minimum of 64 gigabytes. Make sure that the file type for your virtual hard disk is VDI or VirtualBox Disk Image. And now we can click on Finish. Now before we launch our VM, make sure that your VM is highlighted in the list here and click on settings. Now the settings window is going to pop up. Go to the system tab and make sure that TPM is set to 2.0 and that secure boot is checked. Now go down to the display tab and make sure that enable 3D acceleration is checked and bump the video memory all the way up to 256 megabytes. Now click on OK and we can finally start our VM by clicking on the start button at the top here. A window is going to come up and this is going to be our VM. It's going to ask you to press any key to boot from a CD or DVD. Just go ahead and do so. And our VM is going to boot to the Windows 11 installer. Now that we're in the Windows 11 installer, I'm going to set the time and currency format to English Canada as that's where I live. And then click on next and then install now. The setup is now going to ask for a product key for Windows 11. If you don't have a product key, just down here click I don't have a product key and that will bypass the screen. Now we can choose what version of Windows 11 we want to install onto our VM. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose Windows 11 Home, but you can also choose to install Windows 11 Pro down here. Once you've chosen the version of Windows 11 you want to install, click on Next. Now accept the license agreement and click on Next. Now under what type of installation do we want, choose Custom. And you'll see OneDrive here, which is the virtual hard disk we created earlier with roughly 80 gigabytes in size. Just make sure it's highlighted here and click on next and Windows 11 will install onto our virtual hard disk. The install for Windows 11 will take some time depending on the speed of your computer. Once the install for Windows 11 is done, your VM is going to need to be restarted. And then after a few minutes, your VM is going to boot into the Windows 11 setup. So first go ahead and choose your country. Then choose a keyboard layout. And I don't want to add a second keyboard layout, so I'm just going to choose skip. And now the setup is going to check for updates. Now the setup is going to ask you to give your VM a name. I'm just going to choose skip for now and Windows 11 will just give our VM a random name. Alright, so now Microsoft wants us to sign in with a Microsoft account. So feel free to enter your Microsoft account here and log into Windows 11 that way. However, if you want to sign into Windows 11 on your VM with a local account, Microsoft doesn't make it super easy, but I will show you a way to bypass signing in with a Microsoft account in this video. So to bypass the Microsoft account sign-in screen, we first need to disconnect our VM from the internet. So to do so, come up here to devices in the top bar, and then go down to network, and open the network settings. Under adapter 1 here, where it says attached to NAT, change this to not attached. Then click on OK, and our VM is now disconnected from the internet. Now on your keyboard, press Shift and F10, and this is going to open up a command prompt window. Now type in the command OOBE backslash bypass NRO. 
then hit enter. Our VM is now going to restart. And it's going to boot back to the beginning of the Windows 11 setup. So we need to choose our country again. And keep our layout. And now finally, it's going to say that our VM isn't connected to the internet. So click on I don't have internet. And now click on continue with a limited setup. Now it's going to ask you to enter a name for your local account. I'll just call mine the how to guy one, two, three. Then click on next. And now it's going to ask you to enter a password for your local account. So I'm going to leave this blank and give my local account no password. So I don't need to enter a password every time I boot into the VM, but uh, feel free to enter a password if you want to. And now disable all the things Microsoft wants to track us with. The setup for Windows 11 is now complete and it's going to get our desktop ready. And once Windows 11 is done getting everything ready, we'll be brought to the desktop. We can now reconnect our VM to the internet by coming back up here to Devices, Network, Network Settings, and change Not Attached to NAT. Then click on OK. And after a few seconds, our VM will reconnect back to the internet. We now need to install VirtualBox Guest Editions to our VM. VirtualBox Guest Editions will allow us to full screen our VM, add some drivers so our VM runs faster and with less issues, and also allow us to use some extra features like shared folders and copy and pasting from our host machine to our VM. So to install VirtualBox Guest Editions, come back up here to Devices, and then click on Insert Guest Editions CD Image. Now open up the File Explorer, go to this PC, and then in the CD drive here, you'll see VirtualBox Guest Editions. Double click on it to open it. And then scroll down and find the program that says VBox Windows Editions and double click on it to open it. Click on Yes. And the installer for VirtualBox Guest Editions will appear. Just click on Next. Next. And then Install. And now give VirtualBox Guest Editions a few minutes to install. The screen of your VM might flicker during this process. Once the installer for guest editions is finished, we now need to reboot our VM. So choose reboot now and click finish and our VM will restart. And now that we're booted back into Windows 11 to full screen our VM, come up here to view and then full screen mode. Alternatively, you can also full screen your VM with right control and F on your keyboard. And if you ever want to get out of full screen mode, just come down here to the dock here, view and then full screen mode again. And once again, you can also press right control and F on your keyboard to exit out of full screen mode. And now that we're finished installing guest editions, it's a good idea to go back to the file explorer, go to this PC, and then right click on the CD drive with guest editions, and then eject it. And that's pretty much all there is to it to installing Windows 11 in a VirtualBox VM. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.